Welcome to Be Great Today, weekly inspiration to start your week. I am Jonathan Bloom, or Frasley Sparks fan in the world of Warcraft. I am ashamed to admit it, but I struggle with jealousy sometimes. One event that I remember, and I've got a few friends who are listening to this, who will also remember this. When I was in youth group, we were putting on a medieval feast, and I was the jester that year. I admit it. I let my jealousy get to me. There was another kid in there named Zach, and Zach has amazing skill. Zach is someone I've looked up to. Zach was always popular. Zach had an amazing ability that I wanted, and I let my jealousy get to me that one night. I've apologized to Zach, but I still know that it does not make up for what I did. And Zach, if you're listening, I really am sorry for being a complete jerk to you that night. I was jealous. I should have been happy to be a jester, but I let my jealousy get to me. Theodore Roosevelt is quoted by saying that comparison is the thief of joy. And that is absolutely true. When you compare yourself to somebody else, you only see their strengths compared to your weaknesses. You don't see the strengths that you have in the ways that you are an amazing, unique individual. You only see what you don't have or what you think you don't have. Jealousy makes you wonder on life's purpose. Am I really doing it right if everybody else is getting credit for what I'm wanting to do? I am part of Dragon Pirate Studio, which is a podcast network, and I write an email every week. One of the articles I wrote was, sometimes we foil our own greatness by what we are thinking. In the article, I talked about how I used to think that I was a behind-the-scenes person, and I would always shy away from things because I thought, oh, I can't do that. And then I talked about how one day I decided to speak into a microphone. I was incredibly scared to do it. But by doing that act, I broke the thought that held me back. I ended the letter by saying, what thought process has someone told you or have you told yourself? What is something that is holding you back from your own greatness? One area that can be easy to get jealous is in the area of social media. With likes, follows, and all of that stuff, I've been trying to reduce the focus on likes. By focusing on likes and follower accounts, you're focusing on how many people can you get, not on the quality of people that are following you, the quality of the interaction that you're with. This past week, I spoke up for Black Lives Matter, and I lost some followers. And I know that it's not trendy right now, but I still stand behind Black Lives Matter. And losing those followers last week, I was talking with my friend Scruffy about why was I chasing likes? Why was I so concerned to be liked? On the most recent newsletter for Dragon Power Studio, I proposed the question, how important are numbers compared to the truth? I think it is important to battle the jealousy in our lives. I struggle with it. I hate that I struggle with it. Thankfully, my friend Monica of Geek Caring said that it's okay to acknowledge that you are human and that you struggle with jealousy. I don't want to live in the jealous moment, but I acknowledge it. Years ago, I tried to impress people. There was a video on Facebook where I was like, hey, how are you doing? And I was talking in such a fake voice. My friend Vel saw that and said, wow, you are more authentic now than you were in that Facebook video. And yeah, I was trying to be the social media celebrity. The influencer, hey, how you doing? My name is Jonathan. I hope you're having a great day. That was not me. It's hard when you're not picked for things. I know we remember in school when we weren't picked for things. I remember a moment in my life that I wanted to give up a project because I was not invited to an event. Again, comparison can rob the joy. I loved the project, but when I was comparing myself, it threatened to ruin my entire enjoyment of that project. One of the audiences I talk with a lot are streamers because I am a video game streamer in addition to a podcaster. And in the realm of streaming, John B. Kawhi Guy on November 12th, 2019 said, remove small streamer from your vocabulary. And they said, if you have 10 viewers, you just enjoyed a jam session. John said, if you have 30 to 50 viewers, you just played a house party. John said, if you have 100, you just filled a black box theater. And they said, if you have 500, you just filled an auditorium. I get it. As streamers, the more likes we have, the more it validates us. The more we think, okay, we're on our way to that milestone of being a partner for Twitch. We think people like us at that moment. But on the other hand, the more viewers you have, also the more pressure you have. The harder it is to keep your chat moving and interactive. Some nights my chat's empty, but it's nice sometimes having the ability to talk and have deep conversations with my chat. They're going to be like, oh, hi, oh, hi, oh, hi, oh, hi, oh, hi. I want the more views for like that partner status. Absolutely. And I get it. Having less views, having less likes makes us feel like an imposter. It makes us feel like we haven't made it. The podcast Geek Caring shared a quote by K.S. Wiswell that said, the thing about the imposter syndrome is that you are not an imposter. You just feel like one, but you have every right and qualification to be there. Imposter syndrome loves looking at, oh, look how many views you do or don't have compared to somebody else. And it makes you want to stop going on. 
It makes you want to stop moving forward. At Blizzard Entertainment, my friend Lance puts these motivational coffee quotes on the different coffee pots during normal non-quarantine times, of course. They posted one by Elizabeth Kubler-Ross that says, The opinion on which people have of you is their problem, not yours. And that goes to even more than just the views. But yeah, you don't need others' opinions on you. Lance posted another one that says, So what if no one believes in your dream? You don't need them to. It's yours. We let the views. We let the follower accounts. We let those rob us of that dream that we have. I ask myself, why do I stream? Do I stream for views? I mean, of course I stream for people to be out there. But why am I doing it? My improv teacher Scott posted on Twitter, in case no one has told you today, believe in yourself. And these five letters are highlighted in red that say, be you. I got a fortune cookie that said, if you don't enjoy what you have, how could you be happier with more? That is so true. If I can't enjoy the amount of viewers I have or the amount of listeners I have, how could I be happier with way more viewers and listeners? I'm trying to remember who shared this next thing with me. It was either Scott, Stephanie, or Scruffy, but it's a picture of two individuals that are mining for gold. On the right side of the picture is a bunch of diamonds. You see one of them is mining and mining and mining, and they have a little ways to go. The other one is walking away from the wall, and if they had just picked at that wall just a little bit more, they would have hit the diamonds. The quote says, you never know how close you are, so never give up on your dreams. Again, Jealousy wants to rob us of our joy. Jealousy wants to make us be like, oh, wow, I don't have the views of this person. I don't have the influence that this person has. What use am I compared to that person? Do you know how many people are there for just a little bit? They're sprinting and sprinting, but then they give up. They have it all, and then one day they're gone. If you or I stop now, before we make it, who will be there when the other people that you're comparing yourself to are gone? And someone needs someone like what you or I can provide. I will end with one more quote that I saw by Anthony Mario Zamora of a whale that is under the water thinking, do I really make a difference? Above the surface, there is this turtle that is enjoying a rainbow that was made because of the whale blowing out of their blowhole. I'm not saying for us to be blowhards and all that, but what we do, we may not see the difference that we make, but somebody else does. This week, I want to encourage us all to not let jealousy stop us. It's okay to be jealous. It's a natural human inclination. It doesn't make us bad for feeling jealous, but when we acknowledge it, we can't let it stop us. Where in your life are you feeling jealous, inadequate? Where are you comparing yourself to somebody else? How is that making you feel right now? Is it causing you to stop working on your projects? I want to encourage you to keep at it. Focus more on what you do amazingly well. And maybe you are showing a rainbow to somebody that needs it on a day. What you do today is important, even if you may not realize it. Please don't let jealousy rob you of what you're doing. I want to thank you for listening to this week's Be Great Today. You can find the show at inspirationalpodcast.com. There you can find past episodes and also where to find the show so you can get inspiration coming to you every single week. Well, until next week, be awesome. This show is brought to you by Dragon Powered Studio. Podcasts to make your week better. Remember to smile and be awesome. Find more at dragonpoweredstudio.com.